August 17th, 2025. I was trying to catch my first carp with a pack made of oats, corn, and strawberry jello. I waited for 20 minutes with no luck, or at least that's what I thought. After all, my bite alarm would have gone off to let me know. So I decided to reel in to rebate my rig. Do I have something? Why didn't the alarm go off? Also, is this a carp? I think I got a fish though. I reeled it in to see what it was, and to my surprise, it wasn't a carp. Oh, wow. Well, it's, in... <laughs> it's a new species for me. <laughs> in fact, I didn't know what kind of fish this was. As you'll see later, even trained biologists struggle to identify this species. This is the story of the mystery catfish catch. Let's start with what I knew after landing it. This fish was definitely a catfish of some kind. No scales, four pairs of barbels, and spines on the dorsal and pectoral fins. It was roughly 18 inches in length and weighed 3.31 pounds. The size alone ruled out the margin mad tom, which if you haven't seen already, I made a cool video on it. And you should check it out. In New Hampshire, there are only three other kinds of catfish. The brown bullhead, yellow bullhead, and the channel catfish. It's rare that yellow or brown bullheads exceed 16 inches in length, but I can't rule them out for sure. Maybe I have a state record on my hands. Thankfully, I happen to own a book to help us narrow things down. It's called Fishing for Buffalo, and it's a really good read for anyone who wants to learn more about the rough fish of America. You'll see that on page 124, there's a convenient quick cat ID chart. Let's see. This fish has a forked tail. That means it can't be a bullhead, right? And since blue catfish don't live in New Hampshire, then it has to be a channel catfish. So I logged the catch to fish brain and was like, hey, I caught my first channel catfish. And everyone cheered and said, wow, oh, that's an awesome channel catfish, Bryce. And that was it. Well, <laughs> if it was that simple, I wouldn't have made this video. Soon after posting, I got a comment from a user who didn't think it was a channel catfish. Nope. So I thought to myself, what does ChatGPT think? Looks like it thinks it's a channel catfish. Well, let's get a professional opinion too. I sent an email to the New Hampshire Fish and Game Department and asked, what kind of fish is this? A fisheries biologist then responded and said, yup, that's a channel catfish. Awesome, I was right after all. Well, hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video- Hold up, who said it wasn't that simple? <sighs> you're right. The more I looked at my catch, the more I felt like it wasn't a channel catfish. Something just seemed off. Well, if I'm going to disagree with a professional opinion, I better have some evidence to back it up. And if this fish wasn't a channel catfish, what was it? That same fish brain user who didn't think my catch was a channel catfish proposed a species that was completely off my radar. The white catfish. This species is also known as the white bullhead because it's a member of the bullhead genus, and was out of the question for me because it doesn't live in New Hampshire. Or so I thought. There's no species profile for this fish on the New Hampshire Fish and Game site. It's kind of funny how my state literally has more documentation on the slimy sculpin than this catfish. As it turns out, there is a state record entry for the white catfish from 1996. This is the only official record of the fish that I could find in New Hampshire though. Okay, so how do we know if my catch is a white catfish? Remember how we could use the forked tail to determine if the catfish wasn't a bullhead? Well, as it turns out, that heuristic is about as effective as You can very plainly see if it's a monkey, if it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey, it's an ape. The white catfish happens to be the only bullhead species with a forked tail. It's supposed to be slightly less forked than the channel catfish, but I can't go off that alone. Thankfully, I found an article to help build my case from Connecticut's Department of Energy and Environmental Protection. It notes that the upper lobe of a white catfish's tail is sometimes longer than the lower. That checks out, because that's definitely the case with my catch. The anal fin of a white catfish usually has 18 to 24 rays, whereas the channel cat's usually has 24 to 30 rays. How many are on my fish? I counted 22, maybe 23 rays. The article also shows a side-by-side -side photo of both a channel catfish and a white catfish. See how the head of the white catfish is wider than the rest of its body? That checks out too. One last thing. The outer edges of the eyes in the adults are often blue. Hey, it looks like the eyes on mine have a blue outline too. 
The article does include a few more characteristics, like the color and length of barbels being different, but I know enough now to confidently say that this catch is in fact a white catfish. There is one final comment in this article worth noting. Very large white catfish are difficult for even trained biologists to positively identify. While my 18-inch fish is no record, it's certainly on the larger end. Knowing how little it's documented in New Hampshire, it makes sense why it's so easily confused with the channel catfish. Next time you catch a channel catfish, take a close look at it. You may have just landed yourself a new species. Well, that's it for today's video. Have you ever caught a fish that you couldn't identify before? Let me know about it down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and check out my other videos too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.